Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Scripting Quick Tip Tutorial. This one's going to be about the latest update to VS Code Debugger 2.0 and that's available in VS Code. This extension for Visual Studio Code was just updated with some useful fixes but may also cause some issues so I'm going to be going over a few of the fixes today showing you the article that was released as well as how to revert back if you have any issues by this automatic update. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with some of our awesome members, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, you can do so in the description down below. And this helps us out as well as gives you cool perks in return. And also check out the links down below for AE Scripts, Adobe Exchange, and Gumroad to check out some of the other cool stuff I'm working on. Now, while it is still early, it's been about eight days a week or so since this was released, there have been some issues people have had running the newest VS Code uh, extend script debugger update. Very specifically, if you do use other Adobe useful extensions like Adobe Script Runner or text to JSX bin, these I believe need to be updated to support it because they require extend script debugger as a base. We've had a lot of people coming into the Discord saying they've had automatic updates and all of a sudden their Visual Studio Code or Extend Script has had issues. So uh, one part of today's video is going to be how to revert back to the previous versions. But first, let's take a look at some of the updates they've made. And one of the biggest ones, of course, is fixing error 15. So the link for this will be in the description. But like I just said, the biggest thing is that they've eliminated error 15, supposedly. And if you're not already familiar, error 15 is this annoying bug that would always appear when trying to use uh, Visual Studio Code and an Adobe program debugging your script, it would usually have some kind of failure to connect to the program. Or if you had extend script open, it would give you error 15. Error 15 was this error that would pop up all the time without much context and would make a lot of people hesitant to use Visual Studio Code. So that's one of the big things they've fixed. They've also uh, accomplished running the script without a debugger involvement, uh, debugging multiple hosts simultaneously, debugging with different VS Code windows simultaneously, and running compound debug configurations, which is useful for CEP workflows. And for those of you who are using the newest M1 Max, it looks like you'll need to use Rosetta mode in order to support it as uh, the debugger is not yet supported on ARM devices. Although why does this why does this say supported on Windows ARM devices if it's for Mac users? Not sure about that one. Might be a typo. But those are the, the basic updates. And some of you may be saying, yes, that's awesome that there are speed improvements. I can have multiple debugs and error 15 is finally gone. Um, but there also are some issues that people haven't talked much about, and that is using other extensions like Adobe Script Runner and things like that, or trying to export as a JSX bin. These have had some issues for some people. So if you're if you load up Visual Studio one day and all of a sudden you see, oh, reload is required, let's reload it. Oh, it looks like we're up to date with the newest extend script debugger, which of course you can check out the change log, which has more specific changes, not just the ones listed in the previous article. And there are a few previous beta versions they were testing where they fixed other stuff. But if you want to check all, all that out, check out the change log. But if you do notice you're having problems, maybe you're trying to hit F1 and run your script in an Adobe program, or maybe you're trying to convert your uh, script to JSX bin and it's failing, not giving you any error whatsoever. How do we go back to the previous version to make sure that we can use extend script uh, the way it was previously and working? All we have to do to revert is make sure we have our extensions tab here on the left pulled up and next to extend script debugger, we're going to hit this cog and choose install another version. From here, we can choose specifically the one we want to install and actually see when it was released. So if there is a future update to this that gets released, we can see how far away it was released and maybe how stable that would make it be. But it seems to be at least in my experience, I haven't tried all of them yet, but going back to 1.1.2, the last major version, version one, is the way to go for this, uh, because that is the last version we were all using before this sort of silent upgrade. 
and you can see now it asks if asks us if we want to update to 2.02 we don't have to but if you want to in the future uh, you definitely can once it's more stable there are people who have had no issues some people have had a lot of issues um, me personally running these other things like Adobe Script Runner and stuff, I believe they need to be updated as well in order to support this. If you've experienced anything differently, let me know and maybe I just need to set up my configuration or extend script setup differently. And uh, just to illustrate this, if I do update to 2.2 and reload, uh, and then let's say this previous script that I just made, this AME presets, and I want to text the JSX bin, Usually, it just comments all this out and creates the JSX bin down below. Um, export as binary seems to work, but I like to use this text to JSX bin feature, and the fact that it's not working is slightly annoying, and one of the first reasons why I saw I had to revert. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. That's an update on the newest version of VS Code's Extend Script Debugger by Adobe version 2. Uh, which has some major updates and some major problems on occasion. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly in the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for coding updates, as well as Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of our Discord server, make sure you come and join to help us scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube, you can do so by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP down in the description down below, which comes with cool perks. And also check out the links to things like AE Scripts, Gumroad, and Adobe Exchange to see some other cool stuff that I make. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.